This week's watch is episode 60, special Christmas edition. The holiday season is here. We are waiting for a nice lineup and we have it for you so you look proper during your Christmas dinner. I am surely looking proper with a reference 1578 produced by Patek Philippe back in 1954. A central second hand with the blued steel, furthermore a beautiful five minute track in Arabic numerals and of course something that the 1578 has, the faceted lux. Perfectly sized 35 millimeter and I think it's a great compliment to my uh, Christmas sweater. Anyhow we got more watches for you in stock. This watch is for sale both in our website and in store. However, during Christmas days, we are closed. You're welcome again at the 26th of December. In front are four Rolex watches, furthermore, a Breitling and a very rare Omega. We are starting this episode with a watch that can perfectly fit as the beginning of your collection, a Rolex Air King. Reference 5500 has been in production for 37 years. And not without any reason because it's a beautiful watch especially for its price range under 4000 euros will get you this example with the black dial more uncommon and more beloved than the white faced or silver dials even champagne colored dials is something we see often the black dials is an exception dating back to 1987 it's quite a late execution and therefore still preserved very well up next one of my very favorite watches of 2018 and arguably but still i'm very strongly convinced this is the best watch you can buy with a 5000 euro budget a breitling top time reference 815 you might know the predecessor reference 810 this one is also a three register top time coming with the original box the original paperwork some booklets explaining how a chronograph works the only downside is it's in german however the watch itself is the most important and it's beautifully kept in all original and mint condition i might dare to say uh, unpolished uh, maybe even unused the watch is mint once more coming with the original tropic strap the original buckle beautifully aged the tritium plots as well as the bold hands are turning into a yellow color once again this watch is priced at only 4700 euros dating back to 1973 the nickname of this watch is the long playing why because it has a very very long power reserve of 52 hours Whew. I love you, Brighton Top Time 815. In 1956, Melbourne hosted the Olympics. And we got a beautiful watch dedicated to this special event. Of course, also dating back to 1956. They come in two varieties. It's basically a Seamaster. However, it has an interesting enamel dial, baked enamel dial with somewhat of a crest. And it's the logo of the Olympic Games. However, there are two executions, as I just mentioned, because the second batch of dials didn't feature this logo. Why? Probably Omega wasn't allowed to use this symbol and therefore replace it with a different symbol. This watch is the MK1 coming with the original box showing the same symbol. It's a very collectible Omega Seamaster Olympia and priced at 6,800 euros. After the 1655, Rolex introduced a new Explorer, the very first sport model with a wide dial and 40 millimeters. It's time for the 16550. Upgraded movement, we get the sapphire crystal, but most importantly, as I just mentioned, the first watch to feature a wide dial in a sport model, 40 millimeters. This watch having the nickname cornflakes. Why? Because of course the white dial looks like a bowl of milk and the index look like cornflakes. Very nice story for a beautiful watch dating back to the late 80s, priced at 9,850 euros. It's a different variety and way more um, affordable than the cream dial 16550, but surely 
just as cool. If you want a low key ball during this Christmas, you gotta get yourself a white gold day date, preferably with the double quick set. So the 18239 is what you get with the sapphire crystal, a silver dial in this case, and interesting to know, and for the Dutch clientele, it's especially cool with a Dutch date disc. We don't get this watch very often with such an interesting language in the discs. Of course, we know the Chinese, the Arab discs, the Russian disc, they all fetch more money. However, on this watch, we kept the price very fair. Only 13,900 euros for this watch dating back to 1988 with a virtually stretch-free president bracelet with the concealed clasp. It's time for the last watch of 2018 and we're proud to present you the second COMEX in AVW history. Reference 16600 was the last batch divided into two different eras. So 1992 they came with 200 pieces and once again in 1997. This watch is dating back to 1992, still featuring the original Tritium dial, the original Tritium handset. The bezel hasn't been changed. We serviced the watch just at Rolex. It comes with Rolex service papers back in 2011 from the previous owner who lived in Germany. And this watch, of course, is very rare, having the Comex logo on the dial, as well as the engraved case back with the number of uh, the guy that it was issued to. In this case, it's 3221. Let me see. 3221, indeed. And we're happy to feature this watch. It's a very collectible watch. And I think you should dig around for the Comex watches. It's a very interesting story. Nonetheless, this watch is for sale. Price on request though. So if you're interested, hit us up. It won't come cheap. 2018 was a blast. We couldn't have done it without your support and especially without your money because you provided us with loads of it by buying all our nice watches. And we hope to do business again in 2019, either selling you a watch or buying a watch from you once again i'm happy to see you back next year thank you very much for watching this video i hope you have a nice christmas and a nice and happy new year this is jasper and remember that the best year to buy a vintage watch is this year we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year